Alicia? Nick, Renata, a series of fatal accidents in 2019 are turning tragedies into educational opportunities for young drivers. Emily Raleigh was one of those victims. To honor her, the Emily's Challenge trailer was created. The trailer will soon travel around the area, encouraging students to drive safely. A little warning, some of the following images shown in the clips may be graphic. Emily's Challenge trailer is giving young people the chance to see what a fatal consequence of unsafe driving looks like. After obtaining a vehicle from a fatal 2019 accident that claimed the lives of four people, the Steuben County Sheriff's Office says it's bringing the realness of these situations to light. We decided to take that, that tragedy and, and try to turn it into an, an educational opportunity by putting it into a trailer along with video and graphic so that we can uh, have all three stimuli going when we go to educate our young people about the dangers of distracted, impaired, and intoxicated driving. The trailer is named after Emily Raleigh of Dansville, who died in a separate distracted driving accident the same year. Her mother, Kim Clark, has since begun speaking about these dangers and was asked by the sheriff's office to expand the existing initiative. She agreed under one condition. Uh, the sheriff came and said, do you, how do you feel about Emily's challenge trailer? And I said, only if I get to talk with it, and only my goal, forever goal, is to make good choices. A video plays on loop in the trailer with testimonials from all of the victims' families and first responders who assisted at the scenes of the accidents. Sheriff Allard says it's a rare opportunity for first responders to help in this way. It's what we've done with this trailer here is take these tragedies and turn them into an educational tool that will help people stay alive. I'm here to make one better choice, make good choices on behalf of Emily. I love her always and forever. Emily's Challenge trailer will be on display at the Steuben County Fair and travel to 13 local school districts and two BOCES in the area. Her mother thanked the Sheriff's Department and all of the Emily's Challenge Committee for helping to make this possible, and they hope to continue expanding its reach. Nick, Renata.